Hi beautiful Scorpio and welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I knew I was reading for a water sign but I didn't know which one so I put the names into the quiz generator online and Scorpio, you guys are clearly who I was meant to read for. The message from Spirit, um, this is a general reading darlings, um, there is a sense of frustration and need to sort of protect your energy in a way because uh, there was a, a sense of like a lot of messages, friendship. A lot of messages coming through, a lot of people needing your attention or wanting you to solve something. Like, I am feeling the frustration for you. So, Scorpio, I'm just sort of getting the sense that sometimes, like, you just need to turn your phone off. It says, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. And darlings, I don't feel like that's, um, that frustrations in your love relationship. I feel like it's like the other circle where it's like, there's just a lot of input. Like, like even like business relationships, you know, it, it just sort of feels like, <laughs> I don't know, it's sort of like maybe like spam calls, like that sort of vibe where you're just like, what is this number? Who is calling? It says love without condition, number two, six, that's the number eight for the infinite, the eternal love, Scorpio. So yeah, I think getting through that energy is like just that sense of, you know, sage, if you feel that at any time just um know that you can call your energy in and just you know sage or take a bath or shower or something nice let's draw you um, a spirit sacred oracle scorpio hearing the name melissa so melissa it says in the world not of the world so gorgeous it's like you're really tapped into this higher vision it's um hmm it feels like you're looking through like your own lens it's like you know like you could put on sunglasses and you could you know say rose tinted glasses right and you sort of see the world in that color or like purple lens whatever it is and you see it in that way scorpio it feels like you have this other lens on that's connected to this higher divine it's sort of like seeing things in your own way and i feel like artistically that this is really helpful and really healing it's like your voice is really needed at this time i'm hearing that you are protected it's like you're being guided to share your artwork to to share your vision the way you see things passion your it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy really you deserve love you are lovable you, it is safe for you to love true love playfulness scooby this is so gorgeous this is passion this is art this is you know i get the sense that it's just like you know not letting the things from the outside world bother you in a way sort of like protecting your energy making uh your sacred space and like sort of it's it's sort of it's not really like pushing through in a way it's sort of like taking a step back taking a step back into yourself to then be able to express that full vision um some of you are doing public speaking or you're really like lecturing to a group of people maybe you have um you're on youtube channel i really get the sense that there's one of you that's very much like instructing people like how to do things and it's very helpful um yeah keep going with that like I, I don't think you realize how successful it's going to be. Uh, we've got deceit here on the cards, and I feel like it's this energy of this outside call, and literally could be spam calls, Scorpio, where it's just, it just sort of just takes up your time to even, like, check that spam call. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a, it's like, why? You know, and I just... <laughs> I think you're just sort of blocking that out. Angel of balance. This is eternal love. This is the, you know, 4A is eternal angel. You're bringing in a beautiful balance. It's like giving and receiving and rest and rejuvenation. It's so necessary. It's so needed. And again, the 19 is also like the 8. And it's like you're on the right path with this, with this time of rest and rejuvenation. You know, taking time to you to just sort of, um, you know, gain that clear perspective. This is really you connected to that higher divine. I feel like um, there's like victory, you know, it's like you look, you're, you're going beyond, going beyond the usual, going beyond the usual routine of how things were done or how maybe how people would expect you to be, but it's at your pace, you know, it's like it's very beautiful in here and things are really lovely, but there's also this world out here, so it's like the garden and the gate, it's like taking care of your own garden, but also knowing that you can venture out through the gate, you know, and it's like 
you know, it's like taking care of your garden first, right? Scorpio, it's like here you are taking care of your garden, but then, you know, you're prepared. Then you've got your basket of flowers, you know, it's like you're rejuvenated and then you're able to, you know, go and see the bluebirds and the, the rainbows out beyond the gate. Let's draw, um, oh, let's get into the tarot, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm just sort of hearing that there's going to be like signs for you, Scorpio. Like maybe when you do this, Page of Cups, so a passionate offer. This could, I get the sense that there's quite a lot of people that are wanting to offer you this because I just, I'm just seeing this phone like, it's like lighting up, right? So I just, I feel like it's, yeah, like a lot of attention. You, you're focusing on your skills and this is exactly it, you know? It's like you're focusing on what you do and you're showing others how to do it, Scorpio. There's one of you out there. And then I know, I know that you know that it's you. It's like you're, you're doing like a YouTube channel or you're, you're just, I don't know, you're like a teacher of sorts, but it's like you don't really see yourself as that, but you are. You know, you are. You've, you're, what you're building is really important. You're passing on skills because, you know, the way you do it is unique. The way that you, uh, you know, whatever it is, mine for crystals. <laughs> I don't know, take photographs, paint paintings, um, you know, cook for your family, whatever it is, darlings, it's like the way you do it is amazing and nobody else does it like you. It's like the energy that you put into it, the insight that you have because you have this amazing cosmic connection, Scorpio. So keep like working on your skill. I'm also getting the sense that like practice makes perfect. Like, you know, like it's that it's that oh wow yeah you know when you're like working on something and it's just like time disappears and you're like oh my goodness that's because that's what you're meant to be doing it's just like amazing you're working on your skill and these are skills that are gonna be with you like through all your lifetimes through all your soul's journey it's like it's very exciting so you know don't feel bad if if time passes and you're like oh I just worked on my skill but at the same time I do want to point out that if you're like oh look at this Queen of Wands. If you are working on something, like say if you're the, you're putting all your passion or your emotion into it and you just keep hitting like your thumb, right? You're just like hammer and hit and you just keep hitting your thumb. Don't keep hitting your thumb, Scorpio. Just like, you know, take a break do that rest and rejuvenation and come back to it all right because sometimes the energy flows and sometimes we're meant to be in that balance we're meant to take a rest okay so you'll listen you'll know if it's flowing and you're like oh i'm in my element i'm sharing my my love my passion my emotion that's amazing and you, you're working your magic and if it's not and the nail keeps slipping or whatever's going on here the paint keeps dripping and the whatever then you'll go okay this is the part of the journey where i take the rest and relaxation because this is key mm -hmm. this is key this is meant to be a love reading, but I, I feel like it's like your love is like, is your passion, like how you're experiencing that inner fire. Five of Wands. Dylans, this is people battling for your attention. <laughs> it is, because I just keep seeing like this phone and it sort of feels like the energy, like, um, you know, even mentally you might find your mind being drawn here or here or here, you know, just give yourself that chance to, to connect because you, you know, what's up Scorpio, you're connected to the divine, right? You're of, you know, what is it of the world, not in the world. So trust, you know, because everyone's got their own vision quest, right? Going on here, their own dream and, but trust, trust yours and trust your journey. Um, Scorpio love the magician getting a sense that someone is manifesting you here I feel like some hmm, let's see. Queen of Swords reverse you know, with all these swords like it does feel like a new beginning like somebody is um, sort of owning up or sort of I'm here like coming clean with something here, um, but they could be sort of, it's like quite strict or quite blunt, sort of like, and this is how it is, and you're just like, okay, <laughs> let's see, the moon, 
yeah so I feel like there's things that have been hidden but this is a very emotional connection and I do get this sense that it's like a lot you know the magician is sort of like working behind the scenes here how are you feeling about this a ten of pentacles in reverse Knight of Cups reverse. Hmm. You know, it's feeling like a bit of hard work here. Yeah. Not being recognized, you know? High Priestess in reverse and Six of Wands in reverse. It's like, I feel like someone isn't recognizing the connection for what it is, or they're not. Um. It, it's like Six of Wands reversed is sort of um, not not giving that respect or that acclaim that's deserved, right? It's like, because you've been working really hard here on your craft, and no matter what the situation, where you're at, Scorpio, spiritually, like, you are the High Priestess. You are the Magician. You are the Queen of Cups. So to be coming out in this sort of energy, um, I'm sort of getting the sense that like something's hidden where it's just like, well, excuse me, like why are you, I don't, let's get, let's get a clarifier on that. Page of Pentacles, then Three of Wands. Mmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, so you're just getting the sense that it's this, I uh, like this could be work or it could be love. Um, it's basically where you're placing your passion at this time because we had that queen of cups and you know, the eight of pentacles, but I just sort of get the sense here that it's like, is this person recognizing like who you are, Scorpio? Like, do they realize who they're dealing with here? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Being with you feels like home. I feel lost and lonely without you. Someone's putting a lot of... It, it feels like there's like hard work on both sides of this connection. Is what it feels like. I'm trying to move on and it's heartbreaking. So it's definitely someone from the past. Let's see, Scorpio. Will I ever see you again? Ooh, I know we were meant to be together. I'm getting chills. I was scared because I care so much. Oh my goodness, Scorpio, I can't even go on. I'm 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 in I'm getting chills. You know, it, it feels like this person, Scorpio, it's like they held so much back, right? It's like they didn't... I just... I can't quite put my finger on exactly what was going on here. Financial constraints. So they're working hard on the pentacle. Door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah. You know, this could be a work relationship for you, um, but if it is in love, it's sort of, it feels like, um, like someone's wanting to offer you more than they can give you at this time. Like they want to give you, it's like they want, but they have these constraints, right? It's like they want to be there, they want to, but they're like, you know, they, it's like they, they, they're just offering what they can. That's what I'm getting. Um, we're going to draw from Crystal Visions and then we're going to get into the Passion Tower, which sort of gives a bit of a clearer, you know, idea about the love situation. Yeah, rebuilding and let go of doubts. It's definitely like focusing on building, you know, manifesting that sort of vibe. And I think that's from both sides here. Gratitude needed. I feel like you both taught each other like a lot in this connection. Energy healing. Yeah, it's like and look with the wizard showing up again. It's like you you both shared this this magic, this spiritual connection, right? And it's like I just feel like it was it was 
it was divine it was divine follow your heart you know it's like it was it was this this heart connection but it it, it it it's like it took you both by surprise like it's like you both gained so much more you know it's like this energy healing this um insight uh flow of prosperity lakshmi definitely a lot to do here with building and pentacles and you know and and you know which is really the the result of creativity of passion of following your skill set of you know following your heart right the flow of prosperity is removing blockages and being able to feel the joy within being able to to give and receive it's that gorgeous balance between the two and i really get the sense here and i remember Scorpio, I'm, I'm remembering this reading um, that I did for you guys months ago, and I'm sort of getting the same sense here because I'm seeing the the protection I hear, and it's a portal that was created, and I totally forgot about that image, but it's back here again. If you remember that reading, like, this is powerful, and this is what happened. You know, it's like this connection, it's like it created this immense healing and this you know it's it's like this this cosmic connection that created this uh, flow of prosperity energetically let's draw a passion deck here but it, it 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 created this portal you know this this new set of timelines this new chance of possibility getting i'm hearing like breathe Whew, i'm gonna breathe <laughs> always comes up the eight of pentacles again work it's like working on your skills dreaming about what you can do what you can build what you can create i'm getting the sense and this card i i it's you know you can sort of see from the imagery um it's like they're together but there is also a sense of is staying independent right you know sort of like each with their own visions but then joining together and the eight you know the eight keeps showing up here the four of wands yeah this is like a divine connection it's it's building something together that's what this is scorpio um it's like somebody is recognizing your worth like they want to build with you um, the wheel in reverse. You're sort of feeling like things didn't work out in your favor. This girl, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know. Was someone being greedy here? Or is somebody being, you know, just unbalanced and only focusing on their work, Scorpio? I don't know. Was that you? Or was that your person? You know, paying more attention to work than the connection. the world infinite possibility and the hangman reverse this is, this is a sacred connection you know the world card showing up here is um and the star card i instantly felt that instantly scorpio this is a cosmic connection it's what it is it's beautiful and you know, no matter what way you look at it, it's something to be grateful for. The energy, the um, the memories, there's the Two of Pentacles. Again, you know, Two of Pentacles can sometimes be, it can mean juggling. But I feel like what this Two of Pentacles in this particular reading is saying is that there was a balance restored. And look at that star there again. I feel like a, an alignment was created. Magician again. It's a portal of manifestation, of magic, and it's something to be so grateful for. I'm noticing like the seven here, knowing that you're on the right path, and the seven here, seven, seven. This is a, this is balance. and both the divine masculine divine feminine on the right path look the king of wands passion love connection oh, it's 
school year. <laughs> and the moon, again. This is your dream. Dream a little dream. It's beautiful. Wow, Scorpio. You know, I really feel like that meditation is going to be so helpful and healing for you. You know, mentioning at the start of the reading with all of the energies and, you know, we have so many forms of, you know, different opinions and viewpoints and it's like we have a million TV stations turned on all at once. And we do, like we literally do. And so taking that time to you to really connect to your own heart, your own emotions, and knowing how you're going to be bringing them forward with your beautiful passion and creation, you're on the right path. You know, you're connected to your vision, your spirituality, and it's powerful. This is a beautiful portal. Uh, you are protected. This is balance, and it is beautiful. And now with the moon card showing up twice, it really does feel dreamy. The moon card can suggest that things are, are hidden, but it is such a glorious energy here. And really like, you know, being a water, a water card, I just feel like this is your flow. Like this is your jive, you know, let's draw an Ascended Masters card for you, Scorpio. Oh, okay. That one wanted to come out. I really do want us to work out. Right. So yeah, you're, you're creating, and look at the moon here again. Look at the moon. Scorpio, if you can go out and look at the moon at any time when it is next shining, look at the moon. It has answers for you. It is so amazing. I'm sure many of you know when you feel it already and remember it, but I remember a time in my life where, oh my goodness, I was in Sydney, and I mean, I had the moon right by my window, but I never really like looked 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 at it you know for months and then I just was like look at the moon you know and I sat there one night and I just was staring at the moon and it was like I remembered everything you know and who I was and what mattered and I just feel like that the moon is so important for you Scorpio it's come out three times here and it's about emotions writing your emotions how do you feel right now you know how do you feel about life what do you want to let go of what do you want to experience in this one beautiful life of yours well i mean we have many but depending what your belief is of course and but you know this is your time and it only happens once in this beautiful sacred body vessel so live it and love it and follow your emotion and your joy you are seeing this situation correctly accurately in the moon again Scorpio, four times the moon, you are being lit up on an emotional level. You have divine insight. You are the eagle or the hawk very prevalent for you. You will see the moon. You will see eagles or hawks. You will see those symbols. They are guiding you bless you the message here is to dream to don't be afraid to feel your emotion to let it out in your passion in your art and to dream a little dream or a big dream twin flame wow get into nature beautiful scorpio magic is here and remember whose dream it is darling it is yours nothing yet is written in stone nothing so dream 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 bless you scorpio i look forward to your next love reading i hope this reading helped in some way it's just such a glorious energy and you know there's some you scorpio you just share so much love with the world and deserve all the love in return have a beautiful blessed now bless bless